That startling new theory about O.J. Simpson from the groundbreaking doctor featured in the movie Concussion. He is convinced the Fallen Stars years on the football field may have given him a brain disease. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with that story. You have our attention, Ryan. Absolutely. Good morning, Rob. And few names in sports are more polarizing than O.J. Simpson. His criminal trials turning him from a football star to a pariah. But Dr. Bennett Amalu saying he thinks Simpson has the brain disease CTE from thousands of hits on the football field and should serve as a cautionary tale. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. You have a problem putting yeah, placing the glove on his hand. He's the most infamous football player in sports history. Acquitted of double murder, O.J. Simpson's trial for the brutal killings of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, now inspiring the new TV series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. You want to make this a black thing? Well, I'm not black. I'm O.J. This morning, 21 years after the so-called trial of the century, an intriguing new claim about the man at the center of it all. O.J. Simpson is more likely than not suffering from CTE. Dr. Ben and Amalu, the doctor responsible for discovering chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, in NFL players from repeated blows to the head, believes Simpson is a victim of the disease. Tell the truth. Portrayed by Will Smith in the film Concussion, the world-renowned forensic pathologist hasn't examined Simpson personally, and CTE can only be diagnosed after death. But Dr. Amalu says he can identify the telltale signs of CTE behavioral symptoms. Explosive, impulsive behavior, um, impaired judgment, criminality, um, even um, mood disorders. But the strongest evidence OJ may have CTE, he says, his college and 11 year pro playing careers. He was exposed to thousands of blows to his head. It's an assertion Simpson himself once reportedly made, using concussions as part of a legal strategy after his 2008 conviction for armed robbery and kidnapping in Las Vegas. So oh, I'm sorry. According to ESPN, during an appeal of his 33 year maximum sentence, Simpson's attorney reportedly filed a sworn statement that he suffered numerous blows to the head and or landed on my head violently while playing football. Though he never relied on that concussion defense for his appeal, a new trial was denied. While Dr. Amalu stresses that CTE doesn't excuse the criminal behavior that landed OJ behind bars, he does want the case to serve as a reminder of the life-altering damage the sport can cause. Now, Dr. Amalu claims he has yet to examine a retired player that doesn't have CTE and that, in his opinion, athletes playing football to the pro level have a 90 to 100 percent chance of getting it. All the more reason, he says, to talk to kids or talk to parents about whether kids should be exposed to all those hard hits on the football field, Robin. Okay, Ryan, thank you. We're going to look at the legal ramifications now with ABC News chief legal analyst Dan Abrams, who covered both of the Simpsons trials uh, very extensively. And, and Ryan alluded to this. Could this have been anything that he could have used in any either of his cases? Uh, not as a defense per se, meaning he couldn't have said, look, I've got this and therefore I'm not guilty. He might have been able to argue, you should be able to give me a lesser sentence because look at what I've been suffering called a mitigating factor in sentencing. But when it comes to guilty or not guilty, saying something like, I have a brain disease isn't enough. That's why we talk a lot about the insanity defense, right. because the criminal law is so black and white in that regard. Do you think now, not just pro players, we're talking college players, high school players, that if they get in trouble with the law, that they could use this defense? I think we're actually going to see it a lot, particularly when it comes to sentencing, because you're going to see someone convicted of a crime. Someone is going to allege that, you know, they got hit a ton in high school or college. That's what led them to become more violent, et cetera. Um, and, you know, we'll see if judges accept it as a mitigating factor. But again, really important to distinguish between guilt and innocence, mm -hmm. where this won't be particularly useful, and the sentencing phase, where someone could say, I should get a reduced sentence because of what I'm suffering from. This is bringing a lot of attention to this, but not sure OJ is the right spot. OJ Simpson is the last person you want as the spokesperson for this, right? right. I mean, and no one wants to sympathize with OJ Simpson. Mm -hmm. So whether he has it or doesn't have it, it's probably not going to be particularly useful for the cause. All right, got it. Thanks, yeah. Dan.